hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please consider to do subscribe to my channel uh, on today's video i'm going to show you how to install kali linux dual with windows uh, and we need a software which is called rufus uh, go to google.com and type rufus and click on the first link it provides for you and scroll down until you find the download and uh, click on the first version which is the latest one and download the software after you download it after the download is complete we need to download the kali linux iso image as well go to kali.org i will provide the link in the description and click on install installer image there are a lot of type of download options so click on installer image and choose your system architecture which is in my case 64 bit to check whether your architecture system architecture go to your file explorer right click on this pc and click on properties then you will see a file type uh, system type 64 bit operating system or 64 x 64 bit processor then um, choose you the right bit of your architecture and click on the, this download button then in my case i'm going to download the 64 bit click on installer and download after that open the Rufus software which is the download really click on no and after that insert your flash drive then select click on select and select the Kali Linux as O image which we download now and open it after that just don't touch anything and leave it as default make sure it's on bios or uf and mbr uh, and if it has to do, leave everything as default and click on start then make sure you click on write in the image mode that is what we need to install Kali Linux dual or um, entirely on one disk and make sure you have the backup of your flash drives uh, file because we are going to format it. This may take a little minute and be patient. After everything is done, please close the window and after that uh, go to your file explorer and we need a disk so right click on your uh, windows and click on disk part or, or um, search for disk part disk manager actually after that remove i am removing my flash drive and select the disk which have free space in my case i'm going to click on the d drive then click on shrink or click and click on shrink then i'm giving it this dg which is this time and after that i will type the value here which is 60 gigabytes and click on shrink as you can see i have 60 gb unallocated place leave it as uh, this and restart your pc after that you can see my bios is uh, skip uh, to see after that uh, boot as you can see boot device option is s9 in my case i'm using hp and select on your flash drive in my case which is sony and uh, as you can see here 
graphical install install whatever we just click on graphical install you will see this type of window I will recommend you to leave everything as default and just click on enter enter end enter as well uh, I will show you what you need to change here choose your network uh, if you are using ethernet cable click on ETO it zero I'm using a wireless so I will choose my wireless network and if you have your a password click on WPA and enter your password if you, are, if your network does not have a password click on open network here enter your hosting if you don't know what hosting is just leave it and I'm going to change my host name to micro and if you want to change the domain name as well change it or leave it uh, as default here interview uh, desktop name and username ghosty in my case and I recommend you to enter a password or you can leave it and uh, just click on continue guys actually i'm fast forwarding my videos to save your time uh, here in partition disk option click on manual and select the disk which we shrink it early and click on enter or continue you can use the up and down arrow keys to move your cursor or use your mouse and after that click on automatic partition the free space and all files in one partition recommended which is for new user after that you can see here logical 63 and 1 db swap uh, just click on finish partition after that we are going to format the partitions so click on yes and continue here we leave everything as default and we just hit continue after selecting the install software is done click on yes and install grab bootloader and make sure to select your hard drive here and the installation will be done in short period of time after you see this screen uh, remove your usb drive and click on continue after that you will see uh, Kali will uh, restart itself and here is what Kali looks like when you enter it uh, uh, here is the terminal and as you can see here ghosty is my username and micro is my host okay guys thanks for watching i hope so i, I helped you uh, a little if you if you enjoyed the video please give a like and if you have any question a comment thanks for watching Thank you.